Welcome to the April issue of the Emma Heaven Online magazine and this month's LWA. <laughs> Joining me on tonight's panel are the outrageous Wendy Thomas, <laughs> Christy <laughs> Heaven. <laughs> And we have a guest tonight join us on the panel and it's the most fabulous, inspirational person I've met in a very long time. Welcome Emily Nicole Roberts. Okay. Now, this month's subject was chosen by Angie because I sent an SOS out to the team because I was like, well, what can we talk about next? And uh, Angie must have sent a list of about 20 things and they were all brilliant, so I think we sorted for the next year. So I picked one off her list, and it was, you've been arrested. What do your friends and family think you've been arrested for? Now, I really don't know who I want to come to first. <laughs> I'm torn. I'm really torn. It's got to be Christy because you, you're such a goody two shoes, Chris. I can't imagine. No, not me. But what? Yeah. But so go on then. Who did you ask and what did they say? Okay. So first, I asked my mum and my sister. And I think this one came about because, as people may not know, I only started driving um, a couple of years ago. I was a late <laughs> driver and I wasn't, uh, I've never been a very good one. And their immediate response, no hesitation, a car accident. You've you've drove into someone, you've driven into a house, like you've done something bad in terms of driving because oh. I'm a new driver. I'm not exactly good at it, not good at parking. So it wouldn't surprise me at all and it didn't surprise them that if I was arrested, it's something to do with the bad driving. Okay. Did you ask anybody else? I did. I did. I asked my boyfriend as well. Right. And what did he say? <laughs> he said it would be over some kind of twisted accident that, like, you didn't mean to do it, but now it's escalated into this huge thing because you don't like hurting people, you don't like doing something. So, I, I you know, I threw something and it injured someone and they were trying to sue me. So it would be a complete freak accident that I didn't really mean uh, but it's escalated into this thing. And um, it made me laugh because I watched, um, I don't know if anyone has seen Cousin Vinny. Yeah. yeah. Where he gets trialed for murder because he stole a can of tuna from a <laughs> petrol station. That would be me. I would be in the complete wrong place at the wrong time and get arrested for a murder. <laughs> and me thinking it was me because I stole something accidentally oh, or something God. like that. So Marvellous. Right. Brace yourselves. Wendy, what did the fam say? Come on. <laughs> like, first of all, can I just say that with Christy, I would have thought she'd been arrested in Disneyland <laughs> in America um, for stalking the, the characters <laughs> and just staying in, you know, where they get changed and everything and getting chains and just locking herself in there. And refusing to move, refusing until Prince Charming came along and gave her a kiss. So that would be that's what I would have thought. Okay. Uh, well. Right. So the first person I asked was Lloyd. Oh, so no. I said, to him, "Listen now, Lloyd. I haven't been arrested before. You worry. I have not been arrested. But if I had been arrested, what do you think <laughs> I would be arrested for?" I can imagine watching a game of football or rugby or something and seeing a streaker going across the pitch <laughs> and everybody screaming, laughing, and just going, that's my mother. <laughs> so that was his. Um, I, asked, I asked my niece, what do you think I was, and she said, having sex outside and being caught having sex outside. outside yeah. Yeah, um, drunk and disorderly. It's like, <laughs> everything. It's like, you know, as if I'm from St. I mean, you know, I was brought up in the Salvation Army. So, you know, I'm getting all this. 
On this, yeah, but mainly that is all mine. Drunk oh, and disorderly. totally. Sex yeah. outside. Yeah, low jobs outside. Oh, 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 no. oh, Timmy. Right, okay. Uh, I know. Let's, let's... It's only... It's only... It's only... Okay, moving sharply on to our guest, Emily. I can't have been arrested for anything. So what 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 did your family and friends think? Well, how can I follow that, Emma? Well, yeah. She's quite like their own. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think it's all Christy said, I am also a bad driver. Um <laughs> So I'm a certified bad driver. My friends, if you're listening to this, you know what I've done. Um, but yeah, I, <laughs> I said to my parents, um, oh, you know, if I was arrested, what would it be for? And they both said in unison, um, you know, speeding or something to do with driving. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that was good. <laughs> Speeding and driving. Oh, so we got a bit of a a, a hot head, a, a motor hot head. Then have we? Uh, no, I just can't drive. <laughs> 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 oh my god! Would you want to hear some of mine? This is this is just shocking. I mean, we'll start with the nicest one, which was from my mother. You know, and she said, "Well, you're very outrageous and outspoken." So. She thought I'd be arrested for protesting or something. So I thought, oh, well, I, can, I can handle that one, yeah. Then my husband, and he wrote this down. Verbally abusing a, po- a local politician on your doorstep and threatening them with violence over COVID-19 rules. <laughs> That's very specific. That's really specific. It gets even better. Jules. And it starts, the, the tone lowers now. Okay, so Jules, I was arrested for indecency whilst my husband is driving. And that's the politest way I can put it. Oh, I've had that as well. I've caused the crash because I've been flashing my boobs along the road. <laughs> because I do do it. I do do it. Right. And especially if I'm in my niece's <laughs> car. There's just something about my niece's oh, car that yeah. I'm just going to flash my breasts all <laughs> along. Right. Yeah, go on. Then I asked Angie, because obviously she'd given the subject. So I'm going to read this out. And she, she, she's done a complete story. So she says, well, you were on your way to pick up Jack and Kath from a walk down the marina where you were driving so slowly because you didn't know where they were. And the police mistakenly arrested you for selling drugs as you fitted the profile of the person they were looking for. And what didn't help matters was they found a suspicious looking cigarette that you claimed you used for medicinal purposes, which made the whole incident a lot worse. (laughs) (laughs) And the best one, oh my God, Denise, right? As I said, well, you know how talented the woman is writing, okay? So first of all, she said, uh, well, it won't be for crimes against fashion. So Denise, thank you, my darling. That was such a lovely compliment. Um, right. An impromptu gin tasting session at the supermarket, regaling fellow shoppers with your tasting notes, and the store as- store manager asks you to leave. You won't and don't. Cue Mr. Plod. Okay, but this is the best <laughs> one now, right? Scaring the shit out of fellow shoppers in Ann Summers who are looking for their first sex toy. You wax lyrical about the health benefits of regularly hitting the G-spot and describe in intimate detail the best positions and products. They take offence and report you for being obscene and sex-crazed. You're asked to step down from the podium display and to pay for the breakages, but not before scooping up a few hundred quid the other shoppers have thrown your way as a token of their appreciation. (laughs) He said, what will that do? Or is that a bit too much? No, it's never too much. <laughs> for God's sakes. Can you imagine me getting arrested in the middle of Anne Summers for giving out sex advice? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. yeah. But, so, um, mm-hmm. were you well, shocked by the responses? Or, what, no. what did you think? They, was, was it anything you thought they were going to say? Because I have to, you know... I would have thought they would have said that I'd been arrested. You know, me and Adrian had been arrested uh, somewhere abroad for, well, shall we say, getting a little bit frisky on a tropical beach somewhere. <laughs> you know, that, that's, 
that's the route I thought they would have taken, not, you know, lamping my local politician on the doorstep or, <laughs> or protesting. <laughs> so, Christy, what did you think they were going to say, or do you pretty much nailed it? I think, like you said, I'm pretty much a goody two-shoes. So the fact that I would be arrested would be shock enough. Yeah. Um, so I think the fact that it was something like driving or an accident would make complete sense. Or if it was, I'd, I'd been mistaken for somewhere else, someone else, because I think that's yeah. the only reason I would get arrested because I just, I'm afraid of getting in trouble. <laughs> so <laughs> I just would avoid yeah. it at all costs. Hmm. Well, I would you never what? be... What I'm worried about now, though, is yeah. when this pandemic thing is over with, me and Emily are going to be arrested together because hey, of yeah. I met her. she is just, as I said to her, I could never go out with you because there's <laughs> no, you can't do that. It's like, go on, go on. And I was the same with her. So as I said, I don't think me and you could ever go out together because no. we would just cause chaos. It's so we'll to, perhaps we'll be having this conversation from our cell in a couple of months, Emily. Yeah, I think if we went out together, I'd have to wear a tiny ladies and then we'd just pissing myself laughing all the time. <laughs> <laughs> the standard procedure when you're in Wendy's company and on the LWA. So, I mean, we've had many a guest pee themselves, haven't we? <laughs> <laughs> but I forgot about that one with the flash and the boobs. And there was one funny, funny, funny story. One Sunday afternoon, we'd all had a few little cheeky drinks in the Wendy house. <laughs> and then um, we had a lift into town in my niece's convertible. And I if I'm in a convertible, I just gotta get I just gotta get my box out. So we were going along the Kingsway, and as we've gone along Kingsway, <laughs> somebody said, Oh look, there's a bus for there, flash to the bus, and I went, right, okay. Oh, no. So as we drove past, I went like that, flashed, <laughs> and look to have the horror of my nephew sat on the <laughs> bus going <laughs> Wendy. Like, Oh, oh Wendy, yeah. shameful, absolutely oh. shameful. Not coming in my car, absolutely no <laughs> way. I'm not having you drunk, frisky, and flashing your boobies. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so everything that was said about you was expected no mm. shocks yeah emily you did you expect that or well, i said i have said one my mate Georgia, she said that I would be given an ASBO. I was a bit friendly, but I'll be a play, Georgia, if you're listening to this. She said to me, I said, oh, if I was arrested, what would it be for? And she said, well, your behaviour is just worthy of an ASBO. So I don't know what that means. What? <laughs> She's from Swansea. I'm not even from Swansea. I'm not saying anything against Swansea peeps, but like an ASBO, really. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, I can see you with an ASBO. I've seen some of the replies that you've given to people. <laughs> I'm shocked. Yeah, when I get a on Tinder, oh my god, I'm banned from Tinder. Yes, she's banned. Shocked, banned. Emily Nicole. Okay, we're not going to get on to dating. Oh, she gets as good as we get. I love her. I love oh, her. When she was god. giving it, we'll have to do a thing on this. Yes, we will. The replies that she gave, I would yes. just cry oh. and laugh in. Yes, I think we'll have to invite you back, definitely. Yes. Yeah, Emily. yes. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Okay, so have you got any more before we round up? Oh, well, I could say more, but I would just like no, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. We don't want to be banned no. from certain no. platforms. No. no, 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 no. Christy, over and out with you. Yeah, that's yeah. that's me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought he might have been done for like um, doing a trolley dash through the pick and mix. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a really good one, you know. It's a good one, isn't it? Yeah. That's the nearest I've got to committing a crime, you know, the <gasps> odd pick and mix. <gasps> Christy! Ah, oh, 
Well, my well mother... I didn't do it. I thought about it. Yeah. Well, when I asked my mother quickly, because we need to round up, but when I asked her, first of all, she said, oh, well, when you was little, um, she said you always, you know, when you was a new pram and the neighbour took you up the shop, you always used to take deeper sympathy cards because they were shiny and, you know, glittery, you know, the gold foil. And we'd always have to return them. And I said, ma'am, I think I'm past the stage now where I would feel the need. <laughs> To steal a deeper sympathy card for the coal of fire, right? <laughs> so I think on that, we're going to end today's, um, well, really don't know what to say, but thankfully none of us have been arrested and hopefully none of us will be arrested. So on that note, can you please say goodbye to everyone, Wendy Thomas? Bye! Please say goodbye, Christy Heaven. Bye! Please say goodbye, Emily Nicole. Bye, everyone. And bye from me, Emma Heaven.